If it is fine, then you need to go through coding. For coding, you need to provide unit test cases. You need to write some unit test cases for your code. After doing coding, whenever you try to run this unit test cases, if that unit test cases execution, if it is fine, then you can do end user testing. Finally, you have to integrate with your server. Okay. So, first what we should do either unit test cases of we need to write or code we need to build we need to write yes. test cases unit test cases we have to write for each use case how many use cases we have many use cases for each user we have multiple use cases so first do the use case designing here So use case designing, we required here use cases a model diagram add use case model, we required a use case here. For use case we required actors diagram design model add use case diagram yes use case actors the first use case actor admin admin use cases are we have many use cases right for admin from the last session how many use cases admin he have admin actor he is having multiple what are those create employee employee management employee creation updation deletion employee operations employee management or employee operations add employee Update employee. Add branches. Update branches. And Add locations, update, add or update. Admin only need to add, add, update, vehicle types. And he need to add not only vehicle types, fuel types. Fuel types. And he need to add or update vehicles, vehicle charges.
here for car we need to decide the charge or car type we need to decide charge for type need to decide charges right vehicle types we have to assign charges then next we can add or update vehicles and driver charges add or update driver charges without this use case if you try to do implementation then it will become nightmare must you should have design on one hand we have to put design before doing coding by looking into this design you have to code then only it will become success or else you can't so must use cases you have to maintain for making application for building application yeah and what we required here Add or update vehicles. Add insurances. Add insurances. Types. Add insurance. Types. Add insurances. Insurances. Who can add? Insurance can add by manager. For vehicle insurances, managers can add the insurances. monthly insurances or yearly insurances manager can manages okay and ddts managers can enter the dd details payment types he need to enter payments can managers can handle payments payment types which payment types are allowed for your application add or update payment types he need to add payment types coupons also managers can add or else the same privileges you can give to the user add or update coupons and manager can you should able to add fuel types or vehicle types vehicle charges payment types car for sale records actually that job you can assign to manager and for admin you just provide here adding vehicles also assign to manager just add vehicle types vehicles managers can add just all add all types here locations also you can provide to yes locations admin requirement vehicle charges admin need to add driver charges admin need to add insurance types payment types coupons also you can you can add admin privilege you can give it as admin privilege and that one is what what you said car selling huh car selling details car selling records you can assign it to manager and reports new new car reports car reports view vehicle reports view payment reports view employee reports view employees reports from employees what we can expect how many employees are there in that particular branch all this we can find right so view employees reports 
and selling prices i mean car selling records also we we should able to read right car selling records view car selling reports based on date or based on month based on car type also we can view the reports all the types we need to provide and booking reports confirmation reports today bookings how many users they booked the vehicles how many users they confirmed the vehicles so this statistics by using reports or by using pie charts we can generate pie charts or we can generate graphs confirm confirmation reports confirmation or cancellation reports based on condition like confirmation if you required confirmation it need to provide cancellation if you provide then it need to find cancellation reports and admin need to have capabilities validating hmm validating what view validating view fuel, fuel readings okay fuel readings for admin not required reading fuel readings or meter readings you can provide that kind of relays to managers if it is very important then you can provide to admin adding vehicles also you can assign to manager manager can add vehicles if you assign some vehicles to that particular branch that branch manager can enter vehicle details or else you can provide to admin also you have to provide uh, that role based processing skill so these all are for actor admin anything for admin for each use case again you should write test case is it programmatic test cases or anything else test cases we need to write as a program or as a report you should write test case reports we need to write right so in that report what we should write use case test cases here test plan it will contain multiple test cases one test plan it can have any number of test cases so here i have multiple use cases for each use case you can write one test case for each use case you can write one test case if it is dependency use case then for the dependencies you can write one test case so in your test plan you have to provide planning documentation test case plannings so as per test case planning for this add employee which test case you need to write in your use case test use case employee in my test case i need to write that use case need to have capability to add employee to update employee so as per the test case plan test case developer will understand the plan test case plan he will design the test cases this use case is for developer by using this use case developer can start the implementation and for test case i mean for tester you should provide test use cases test plans based on that plan he will implement test case plans okay 
if you are a developer and if you are a tester by understanding this use case you can write test cases you can write coding through use case itself you can do this nothing like how you are doing use case in the same way test case diagrams also you need to create test to plan plan 1 plan 2 plan 3 plan 4 in that plan what you need to check the same thing add employee is it employees adding successfully and is it doing updation of employees successfully or not you need to check all these that is what actually your test plan as per that plan your application need to test by the testers your application capability or strength will be decided by the testers only after doing testing if they give 100 percent execution successfully if it is if it is give 100 percent successful execution then your application is most capable application as a developer you should not test as a tester you should set a uh, test developer always used to test maximum possibilities only we, we use to test but a tester he will try to check everything I mean as a possibilities I mean uh, in case of mobile number I used to enter always my possible mobile number I know the coding right 